Hey guys, what's up? It's India and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm going to be doing a story time on my Florida trip. Okay guys, and sorry if I sound different because I'm sick right now, but let's get on with this video. Um, my grandma bought us Florida tickets. Um, most of our family, the rest didn't want to go or I don't know why they didn't come, but my grandma bought us tickets to go to Florida and it was around the Halloween kind of days. So we were there, we got there on October 28th and then we left on October 31st, I believe. The days leading up to this trip, I was really excited and I was just ready to get out of South Dakota because it was, I think it was snowing and I was like, I gotta get out of here and go to Florida. So um, on the 28th, we had to drive to Omaha because our tickets were from Omaha to Orlando, Florida and they were cheaper that way. So we got those tickets. So we had to drive to Omaha, Nebraska and that was like three hours away. So I didn't really think it was that bad because I was excited to go on a road trip plus traveling to Florida. So I was happy, but um, yeah, so we drove to Omaha and if you see me looking down, I'm reading off my phone um, the list of things that we did because it was a lot. So um, on our way to Florida, on our way to Omaha, my aunt got an email saying that our flight got delayed and we were all just like seriously our flight got delayed like uh but I think it was only like 30 I think it was like an hour or 30 minutes so it wasn't really that bad so we just hung out in Omaha until our flight was like ready to go so when we went to the airport basically we just went on the way to Florida on the airplane and um, once we got to Florida, it was late at night. It was so late. It was dark and there was no Ubers to like get us from the airport to our hotel or there were no buses or transportation. There was no transportation. So we were like, uh, so what are we gonna do? So my dad found an Uber and he was going to pick us up but it was only for like five of us. So five or four, it was four. So it could only fit four of us in the car and there was like nine of us on the trip. So that wasn't gonna work. So four of us got an Uber with my dad and then my aunt ordered an Uber for four, no, three, no, four. Four of them and then my grandma got an Uber for four of the other people. So how many people is that? What the heck, that is 12. Is that right? Okay, me, my dad, Kaya, Lydia, Carrie, Matai, Malik, Olivia, Everly. Oh my gosh, there were 12 of us. That is so much. Okay, so there were 12 of us on the trip and yeah, that's how the car situation went. Um, I forgot where I was at. But I don't know if I said that my grandma got an Uber, she didn't get an Uber. But so all of our Ubers showed up. It was my dad and my aunt's Uber showed up and that was only for eight of us. So the other four people, my grandma, my other aunt, and her two kids, and one of her kids was a baby. So she didn't bring a car seat so they could not order uber because no ubers were out that late that had a car seat in their car so they said we'll meet you at the hotel and um we all left them that sounds so bad but they got a taxi after that and they had a car seat so that was good I'm surprised there were taxis out but they got a taxi and they were on the way to our hotel mind you our hotel was like an hour away from the airport so yeah we were in the car for another hour traveling to our 
our um, hotel and my grandma and my aunt show up like right behind us and we were like we were all like how did you get here so fast and apparently they had a bad taxi driver and he was driving so fast but that wasn't really like bad from our the next day we get up and we go swimming and that we got up early in the morning so we could go swimming so um we were swimming until like 12 o'clock i think and then we had planned to go to universal studios so um that was all fine we got to universal studios at like four and we stayed there until like i don't know like eight or nine and that day was perfect i thought it was so fun universal studios i recommend it and it doesn't cost any money so go to Universal Studios. The second day wasn't that bad either. We got up at, um, let's see, we got up around the same time as the first day. We went swimming again until like 12 o'clock again. But there was like this, you know, there was like this cool slide thing that they only had for like two days. So all of our family wanted to go on the slide. So we went to the swimming pool every day. So we swam until like 12 o'clock. And then after that, this was the best day. We went to Disney World. It was so fun. I loved Disney. And this was like, since it was, this day was the 29th and it was obviously almost Halloween so they had all of their Halloween stuff out so basically it was Halloween themed that day so it was so fun it just made Disney 10 times better to have a theme going on while we were there so we were at Disney and that was perfect um, I'll insert some pictures and clips of us at Disney <laughs> And um, yeah, so once we got home from Disney, we were gonna go to sleep and my legs were like itching so bad and I did not know what was happening and they were kind of like burning too. And I look at my thigh and it was kind of in my inner thigh and I had like big giant bumps, like welts on my legs. And I was like, um, dad, like I'm, I don't know what this is. And then we showed my aunt and she said that I had hives. So I took a better drill and I went to sleep and the hives went away in the morning. So once we were up in the morning, it was our last full day at Orlando or Florida. So during our last full day, we went to SeaWorld and I recommend SeaWorld if you want to go on rides because SeaWorld had the best rides. SeaWorld had better rides than Disney. So if you're in for the rides, go to SeaWorld. If you're in for looks and stuff and rides, go to Disney. But SeaWorld's rides are better, sorry. Before we went to SeaWorld, we had to wake up at six o'clock. Six o'clock? No. No, after we just had a long day at Disney, I was not up for it. So we had to wake up at six o'clock to get a discount to go to SeaWorld. And everyone was doing this discount thing because it was a big discount on getting your tickets for SeaWorld. So we had to get on this little bus thing to go to this little other hotel. Well, it wasn't little, it was big. And basically it was like a timeshare thing. So we had to sit through this whole thing about them talking about doing a timeshare when we didn't even want to do a timeshare, we just wanted the discount. So we were sitting there and we could have, like there was this play area and like the four kids that my aunts had, they were in the play area and then we had the other kid, which was the baby. So we had to take the baby along with the rest of us. And yes, that was, hmm. Imagine sitting in a little area 
and them talking about timeshares and everyone's just talking and stuff and the baby is trying to run around. It wasn't really that bad, but he just kept running around. Like he's such an energetic kid that he's always up and running around and everything like that. So we were pretty mad after the timeshare thing got over because it was already like, it was already like, I think it was 11 something. And we were trying to get to SeaWorld earlier than that because SeaWorld closes at five. <sighs> We were so mad. We were like, so we just wasted all this time and we're not even going to get to SeaWorld until 12 o'clock and we're going to have this much time to go on all the rides. Like, uh, no, we want more time than that. Once we got there, we were so excited because we saw all the rides from like, um, the distance and we were so excited because there were big roller coasters. Everyone was excited. We wanted to just get there. So we got there at 12 something. And then we took pictures outside. I'll insert them right here. And then once we got into the amusement park, we were just like going on rides and everything and it was going good. It was like the best time. And we were on, I think it was the Mako. Oh my gosh. It was so scary. I thought I was going to fly out of the seats. And my cousins were so excited. I was like, no, I don't want to go. <laughs> and they made me go, but it was really fun. But I was just like, mm, I'm never going on it again though. So <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, but that was all good. So it comes around to five o'clock and it's time for everyone to leave. So they're still, they're still open past five, but they're just like, the rides are all cut off. So you have to like go into this gift shop area. So we were all in the gift store and we were getting little like t-shirts and keychains and stuff from SeaWorld. They had like the cutest stuff. So we were all getting that stuff and we started waiting outside for our transportation. It was a bus or something that it's like for your hotel. They have buses for your hotel. So everyone that's at SeaWorld can get on that bus and go to whatever hotel you're at. So they're calling um, hotel names. Each bus is calling hotel names and we don't hear our hotel name. And we're just like, so, um, are we going to get stuck here? It's like getting dark outside and we're just like sitting there and we don't know what to do. So time goes by and we called the place and turns out that we miss our bus. I don't know how, because we didn't hear the name. They just said Orlando resort and ours was Orlando resorts plus something else. And then we were just like, well, what? what Orlando resorts because like there's tons of Orlando resorts you know what I'm saying so we missed our bus um so we decided to get Ubers again <laughs> mind you the last time we got an Uber we had a situation with the baby car seat so we had to find an XL Uber so they could fit all of us well not all of us but most of us in there and um plus a car seat if they had a car seat and um it was so difficult trying to find a person with a car seat um somewhere in this story i forgot when it happened but the baby threw up in one of the car seats and my aunt got charged for it um i forgot when that was but i'm just gonna put that in there but um, anyways, we found Ubers, we got back to the hotel, and um, that was just difficult trying to find an Uber with a car seat. So once we got back to the hotel, we were all just like exhausted and we were like, why are bad things happening to us today? Why? And then my uncle calls my aunt. Well, my aunt 
is my dad's sister and my uncle is married to my aunt. So my uncle called my aunt and he said that someone stole my dad's car from their house because we all met up at my aunt's house um, before we were traveling to Orlando. My dad left his car there and apparently someone stole our car. So yeah, we were on the phone with um, the police and stuff and my uncle was trying to get the car back. But my aunt, my other aunt, this, this one that my uncle lives with, this is just complicated, but they have a little baby. They just had a baby too. So he couldn't like drive around because the baby was sleeping. So um, basically the car had to go to a towing company. And yeah, um, the next morning we woke up, more bad things were happening to us. More bad things. More bad things for another day. <sighs> so that morning we were leaving um, Orlando. This was our last day, like we had to leave soon. So we woke up that morning, we all got ready because we had to get out of our room. So um, we were getting ready, we got out of our room. So we just had to be out of our room. We didn't have to be out of the hotel. So we just sat at the, um, at the swimming pool for a while and we um, gave our bags to the front desk. So uh, we just sat at the pool, we dipped our feet in, some of the kids went swimming. And yeah, that's basically um, all for that, I guess. Oh no, my cousin got stung by a bee. It was the funniest thing. I'm not even gonna try to explain it because it's just so complicated to explain but he got stung by me in the funniest way. And we were all laughing and then he's like, I just got stung and we were like, oh, oh, like you actually got stung. Okay, so after we got done at the pool, we went on a bus to go to the airport. So once we got to the airport, we were just, it was fine. Everything was fine. So we got through security and everything. And then um, we were on the plane and the baby was kind of acting bad, but my aunt just dealt with that so i don't know that's it for the plane ride and then once we got off of the plane it was kind of it was like late in the day it was like i'm gonna say five because it was kind of like still bright outside but it was going down so um we got off of the plane and we're trying to look for a shuttle to go to our car because this airport you have to have a shuttle pick you up from your car to take you to the airport. You have to have a shuttle drop you off to your car from the airport, I guess. It was just like long distance. So I don't know. We were trying to look for a shuttle to take us to our car and we kept getting on the wrong shuttles. We kept getting on the wrong ones. And they were like halfway to like this car to, there were like three parking lots. So they were halfway to one parking lot and we're like, this isn't our parking lot. They're like, oh, well, you're on the wrong bus. You got on another one. This isn't the right parking lot. And then we were like, which one did we go on? We finally asked someone and then we get on that one and we're going to the car. We finally get to the car and um, everything's just fine from there. We went home. My aunt dropped us off at home. And then, um, that next day, my dad had to go to work. So I had to drive him to the towing company and he he had to pay the money to get the car untowed, even though someone stole our car. And it was $200. Okay, great. So my dad had to pay $200 after our big trip that we were already spending tons of money on. So we had to pay $200 to get the car untowed that someone stole from us. And that's basically it for this story time. So basically at the end of our trip, everything was going completely terrible. And the rest of my family, when we told them all of the stuff that happened to us, they were all laughing at us. And I was like, okay. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I just ordered some stuff from Fashion Nova. So hopefully it gets here in time for me 
um, for my next like uploading schedule. I'm trying to upload two times a week and I'm trying to make it Tuesday and Thursday. So hopefully it gets here in time on Thursday so I can do a big fashion overhaul for you guys. So stay tuned, subscribe, duh, like and comment so I can reply to you guys' comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.